Now, wouldn't it be awesome if Ahsoka and Ezra showed up in episode nine? It would, but I don't think that's gonna happen. That's why I think they're going to show up in The Mandalorian, or at least there are very good possibilities as to how. Now, Ahsoka is one of my favorite characters in The Clone Wars and Rebels, and her fight with Vader was just downright epic. However, the best part about her character is that her story is far from finished. Many people hope that we'll see her in Episode 9, but I don't really think that's going to happen. She's not part of the main saga, and having her there would feel just a little bit forced. But she does have a ton of unanswered questions that I think that the new Mandalorian show could answer. The official summary of The Mandalorian, as published by Jon Favreau himself, says, After the stories of Jango and Boba Fett, another warrior emerges in the Star Wars universe. The Mandalorian is set after the fall of the Empire and before the emergence of the First Order. We follow the travails of a lone gunfighter in the outer reaches of the galaxy, far from the authority of the New Republic. So how does this connect to Ahsoka? At the end of Rebels and before Episode 4, Ezra Bridger and Grand Admiral Thrawn were sucked into hyperspace by the Pergil. Dave Filoni said that both Ezra and Thrawn survived this trip into the unknown, but also that he doesn't know where they went. He said, I have a lot of theories about it and what happens and where they are. I will say this much, they're not dead. Both of them survived it. My theory is that they went to the unknown regions, or at the very least to the outer reaches of the galaxy, far from the authority of the New Republic, that Jon Favreau mentions. We know the Pergil came from the unknown region, so going there makes sense and explains why Ezra and Thrawn never showed up in the original trilogy. In fact, Yoda knew about Ezra but told Luke that he was the last of the Jedi. So clearly, Ezra was just very far away to not even be considered. That sounds a lot like the outer reaches of the galaxy to me. After Ezra's disappearance, a little thing called the Galactic Civil War happened and kept the other characters pretty busy, as we all know. But after the Battle of Endor, Ahsoka and Sabine Wren both headed into the Unknown on a rescue mission to save Ezra. This is the same time the Mandalorian show picks up. So we have Ezra's rescue and the Mandalorian storylines taking place at the very same time, and that they're potentially taking place in the same location. A huge plot arc of the show could be Ahsoka and Sabine's search for Ezra with the Mandalorian as their guide, much like Han was Luke and Obi-Wan's guide in Episode 4. Plus, Sabine is a Mandalorian too, so I mean, given the Mandalorian's tightly knit society, she must know who the Mandalorian character is and perhaps even knows him personally, which would be another reason to have her and Ahsoka in the show. Additionally, one what further convinces me that Ahsoka will return is that Dave Filoni is directing one of the Mandalorian episodes. Maybe he was given that one in particular to direct. So what do you guys think? Do you think Ahsoka and Ezra will finally return in the Mandalorian? Let me know in the comments below and hit like if you enjoyed this theory. Have an awesome rest of your day, my fellow Jedi and Sith friends. Until the next one, remember, the Force will be with you always. Yeah.